A busy past couple of hours for us, a busy last day. You just confirmed another tornado in Panola County. Yeah, hey, uh, that's correct. Panola County is the newest storm that was added. More storm surveys are going to be conducted tomorrow. They've got to get back to the origination point of where the tornadoes got started, which it looks like for the Upshur County storm may have started back in portions of Smith County. And then for the storm that we had in Harrison, Panola County, it goes back into Cherokee County. So Gosh. we'll have to see there. We know Raina was down in Cushing. That's yeah. where they had some confirmed damage as well. So it's still a busy day expected for us tomorrow. Let me show you the uh, tornado supercell that started that moved into Houston County. This is the same one that worked its way into uh, Nacogdoches County and going all the way up into Harrison and Panola County. Notice where it got started near the Seguin area outside of San Antonio. This is the storm. Watch it track as it went north of Interstate 10, moving up toward the Brazos Valley, did some damage in side of the College Station area. Major damage as well back in Madisonville. The brunt of the damage from this particular supercell though was in Crockett where it was rated at least an EF2 storm. As it moved into uh, Cherokee County, did not appear to produce a tornado, although Weather Service may be going back to check that. We know we had damage in Cushing. Also, we know we had damage in southwest portions of Russ County. That storm as well intensified, produced damage. Also, coming back just north and uh, west of the Carthage area, southwest of Beckville, and then maybe did some minor dan damage in southern sections of uh, Harrison County. I want to show you the bigger picture. Watch how the storm tracked, and there you can notice the arrows that are coming through. This storm was a very long lasting storm. Now, not a consistent consistent tornado for all 340 miles, but this is where the storm started near San Antonio, where it ended when it exited Texas 340 miles, a long path, and this was from about five o'clock on uh, yesterday afternoon until about 1:30 on earlier this morning. Not only that, but we also had a lot of rain. Look at the rainfall totals in some areas. Radar estimates close to three to four inches. Marshall had about two and a half. Tatum nearly three inches of rain. Henderson close to two, almost three inches at Tyler Pounds. Look at. Frankston here 3.44 Palestine over three inches of rain. Tennessee Colony close to two inches. Alazan at three inches. We also have Priscilla just over three. Radar estimates even in Toledo Bend over two while Nacogdoches picked up 2.27. Well, the clouds are still hanging around for right now. We're in the upper 40s to low 50s. The clouds should decrease overnight tonight. It's going to be a cool day. We've got temperatures though climbing up into the lower 60s. 60s for tomorrow and the sunshine is back, especially into the afternoon. And the sunshine is going to continue over the next several days. We're going to get close to 80 heading into the weekend. Deep East Texas similar forecast. We don't have any rain chances until maybe next Tuesday. Marcus, thank you very much.